The problem with peace journalism and, and theories like that is that one assumes that journalists are going to somehow decide to be more peace-oriented simply because it's good for society. And that makes no sense from a commercial point of view. From a commercial point of view, journalists need readers, they need viewers, they need listeners. And that means that the most important thing for any journalist is the story going to be interesting. And conflict is always more interesting than peace. So if you want to convince them that peace is worth covering, or peace, that things are going to help peace, you have to find a sophisticated way of producing incentives for them to produce that kind of news. Okay? That could be uh, something to do with uh, the question of interesting stories, uh, is interesting angles. Uh, for example, uh, one example in Israel might be uh, to have, for example, Palestinian sources who they didn't have access to before. Um, thinking creative ways of, okay, don't talk to them. Don't, you can't talk to a journalist like a humanitarian. You have to talk to a journalist as a news person. Okay? And when you remember what their primary interest is, you won't have much problems with the other parts. On most societies, of course, this is divided media. The Jews, for example, in Israel tell themselves stories in Hebrews. The Arabs tell them stories in Arabic. And the, there's no relation between the two, two stories. And in fact, being ethnocentric is good for business. Northern Ireland, because it's a shared media and because both Protestants and Catholics work in the same media, then there's an interest, both commercial and otherwise, to bridge the gap. Okay? But that's really the exception rather than the rule.